Hi everyone, so it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, and I'm going to tell you why I'm not pulling for this girl. Um, first off, she's very outdated. She's a very old girl. They waited like forever to give her to us, and now she's useless. She was for PvP, even though if you look at her kit, it looks like she might be for PvE, but she's not. She was for PvP. She has two AP moves, so yes, that's good, but um, given what she's up against now, it's just not good enough. And uh, she's extremely slow, which is not good when it comes to her climax act, because she has very high damage and confusion, so it's one of the front three enemies. So if you have Spy, you already have a better girl than what this one is. Spy is also faster, and Spy can take more damage, so I was looking up um, the max 9 stats, and her act power is 1,688, given the meta we're in right now, and the fact that Arcana girls are like over 2,000, it's not great. Her physical defense is absolutely horrible, it's 670, and with the meta mostly physical girls, she's gonna die really fast. Um, special defense is 1007. I mean, compared to Hermit, which is like 1081, it's not that bad, but I mean, it's not good either. Her speed is really bad. Um, she does have agility down, which I mean, that's probably the best thing about her kit in my opinion. But uh, I don't think it's enough to pull for her, since she's just going to die anyways. <laughs> and um, there's other girls who do agility down that are better than her. Hermit being one of them. Um, she has mid-act as her unit skill. Now, if this was the past, that would be great. Because people ran full mid-row. But now, it's very rare to see anyone running full mid or full back, so... That unit skill is nothing special anymore. Her auto skill is fortitude to resist one hit, damage dealt plus 7%, effective elemental damage plus 10%. Her auto skills are nothing great. It's not worth getting at all in my opinion. Um, if you're free to play, I would definitely skip her even though she's really cute. The best thing about this gacha is probably the fact that you can get other girls in it. But, that being said, the rates are very low, and you probably want the new Ichie, which is a very, very small chance of getting her instead of, you know, Aruru. Uh, Aruru has all of her cards on, um, yeah, on Raid Up right now, which also includes Dorothy. Dorothy's still good for PvE, but uh, there's other girls that are better, so it kind of depends on what you already have. There is, there's one girl in here that made me slightly tempted, but I said no. A Cheshire Cat Mahiru's in here. Dio-chan used to be amazing, but she's outdated now. No one really uses her. Ichie is the one that I just talked about. She would be like the best one you want to get out of this, but obviously you probably will not get her if that's what you're pulling for. Don't, don't pull in this gotcha. There's Setsuna, she's pretty outdated now, and Prince Mizora is like beyond outdated, but you can still use her in troops, so she is useful if you ended up pulling her. It's not a horrible thing. She has, um, I can pull her up to show you, just in case you ended up pulling and you did get her. Um, I guess I'll go by rank, and I'll just sort by space. Okay, so, she has... Oh wait, maybe it's not her that I'm thinking of. Oh, she has high damage and dexterity up to all allies. So she's like just a buffer. And she would buff whoever else you're using. So um, say you're pairing her and Caesar, it would help Caesar. But I thought she had um, auto skill for dexterity, but I guess she doesn't. I think I'm thinking of someone else. But yeah, she can be useful if you don't have anyone else for troop. As far as space goes anyways um, just to show you real quick the rates if it loads 
Okay, so like I said, Aruru has all her cards up. But the only one worth really getting is probably Dorothy. And maybe Little Red Riding Hood, because I'm... I think she's a challenger of you, girl. But, um, yeah, if you were to get Dorothy, it'd be good for PvE, but your chances, it's its very low. Because the Ruru that's featured has 0.7%, and then, um, Dorothy's 0.1%. <laughs> so, yeah, don't pull if you're trying to get Dorothy. I don't really see any reason you'd pull for this girl unless you love a Ruru and you love the costume because the costume is adorable and also it is limited this is starry diamond you can get the starry diamond girl the ones that are in the song or something sorry i don't really remember what it's based off of but yeah oh and just to point out something real quick this is a bait banner don't pull on it it might seem like it has great steps because it has guaranteed specific four-star stage girls, but it has every girl in here, which includes like all the permanent girls. I think it has both seasonal and brilliance in here. So none of the girls have like a specific rate up. Like you see, they're showing Hermit. And they're showing two useless girls. I don't know why that's not really good bait. But Hermit, uh, she has the same rate up as everyone else. So you would not want to pull on this banner. Don't pull on this banner. That would be really stupid because she's an Atra girl. <laughs> um, yeah, you should pull on this banner though. That, that one's obvious. Okay. I'm done rambling now. Um, you guys can do what you want. I just thought I'd give my opinion on it and share the stats of her. But yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you like my content. Bye.